Graveyard Hawks are insanely stupid. Hey guys, welcome back to Vether Gaming, and today we're going to have a look at the brand new and broken strategy, Graveyard Hawks. Alright, so let's start with the capital peak, and we have a CH10 base layout, and most of the defenses are either level 3, 4, or 5, so it's kind of like a mid range capital hole 10 base. And um, if it is an easier base, like this one where the Super Dragon is a bit of exposed, then this Graveyard Hawks method is going to blow your mind. It's just so powerful. And it's going to be a little bit difficult if, for example, the Dragon Pose would be somewhere up there. But other than that, um, if you have exposed Super Dragon bases, then um, you should do it. And uh, first of all, we have to clear up a couple of those buildings. I would recommend to take up to two Inferno Dragons, um, especially if they're just level 1, since they have very, very low HP and they can be taken out very quickly by all the air targeting defenses. And well, once you started, <laughs> once you killed um, the Super Dragon, you can basically clean up a couple of more defenses, probably, like this um, Blast Bow. And after that, um, you can pretty much start placing your graveyard spells, which are so broken. If you want to see the graveyard spell strategy with the super wizards, um, you have it linked on the top right corner. Anyway, so here I place all three graveyard spells around the two rocket artilleries and the blast bow, so that they hopefully, hopefully get um, destroyed, or at least get a good amount of damage. And then I basically just start deploying um, the ramps first, so any zap traps can be taken out. Otherwise, it would uh, target the hog glider, which stuns defenses, which is pretty much um, important for this attack, because those mega teslets do deal lots of damage, and you basically want to stun them. And as you see, I just periodically place those um, hog glider, hog raiders, and. Um, the Baron Rams, I mean, we didn't have that much this time because we had to kill the Super Dragon, but at least we got the top uh, rocket artillery. And um, for the first attack, that's actually a pretty decent amount of work. So let's go ahead to the next replay, and there we can see now we can get up to 11 um, Battle Rams and 11 Rock uh, <laughs> Hawk Raiders. Man, that name is difficult to pronounce. Anyways, so we start by placing our remaining three graveyard spells to um, like high defense, um, high HP defenses, and yeah, then we just start blasting and uh, putting those hawk raiders into work. And yeah, I know, just just look at <laughs> the amount of destruction and chaos happening in this base. It is <laughs> it is truly amazing, but also insanely stupid because just look at it uh, the blast bow is down the rocket artillery um, also loses a couple uh, HP points and then those hawks even stun the capital hall with the eagle artillery on top of it and yeah you already have more than 50% of the base gone and um, you also have those three graveyard spells for the next attack so you can basically take out a capital hall 10 if it's mid range and you also uh, you also have mid range um, troop levels in two to three or four hits, and um, this one was in three hits, which is pretty good for a capital peak um, attack. Yeah, and for the last attack, I decided to change it up a bit because since we have those splash targeted defenses, we want to take them out pretty quickly. So I grabbed a couple of sneaky archers, placed them on top of the multi-mortar, and um, we also want to distract this multi-mortar so it doesn't kill off um, our Larrys. And I simply took a tank like the Super Pekka and put it on the town hall and she just tanks perfectly for this attack. Um, so I'm just gonna skip ahead a bit, I'm placing all the other graveyard spells, and then just look at it and enjoy it. I basically put uh, the Pekka down there um, while she keeps attacking. All those Hawk Gladers and um, Battle Rams 
periodically come down towards those defenses. And then, of course, I um, didn't place all of the troops. Um, for example, I placed the uh, Rage Rebellion on the bottom, and then I even had enough um, power to not even place the archers, so you could um, get even more clan capital gold out of your attacks. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty strong. Well, and yeah, you've guessed it right, it works pretty well against all the other districts. Maybe except for the, like Skeleton Park or Super Dragon Cliffs, um, which I'm going to do a video about too as well in the future. So subscribe and stay tuned. And um, yeah, so basically in Wizard Valley we first of all want to take on a couple of walls with our battle rams and then also clean up a couple of buildings and um, it doesn't really matter that much how you <laughs> attack it because the amount of mass units on the field plus the stun effect from the hawks it's just overwhelming all those defenses there and uh, basically I think the graveyard spell is going to get a rework balance where maybe they're not going to spawn normal skeletons uh, not they're not going to spawn guards but normal skeletons so the skeletons do not have a shield and this would make a would be a huge nerf because Normally, the skeletons can survive anything with it and then still attack. Um, except maybe for the multi mortar. And yeah, this would uh, be an emergency nerf, which I'm not sure if they should implement it, but just look at the sheer amount of skeletons or guards that they have shields on. It's insane, and uh, I don't know. Use this attack while it's viable get lots of clan capital gold for your clan <laughs> make them proud of you and um, also yeah be aware of those troll teslas because um, <laughs> yikes lots of orcs died there but uh, yeah we didn't care Lol. and then for the last attack I plan uh, planned on to take the um, balloon lagoon and well <laughs> it went <laughs> pretty much the same. It's so easy. Um, yeah, you should definitely take advantage of, advantage of this. It's just broken, like, how well the combination of mass units, um, like the super wizards or orc riders, plus the battle ramps and the graveyard. But yeah, graveyard hawks is actually a bit more fun to play with than um, graveyard super wizards. Yeah, just, just look at this. It's so much destruction and chaos. And I love that. That's Clash of Clans. That's pretty cool. Don't forget to subscribe for more news and also tactics. By the way, if you want to know anything new about the Builder Base and the upcoming changes, um, don't forget to watch this video right there in the top right corner. And as always, if you like this video, leave a like and um, yeah, tell me in the comments what you think about this broken strategy. And see you in the next video. Clash on.